Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back. It's Alex, the WW crew. Uh, that was really loud. Alex with the WW crew, we're back here playing Transport Fever 2 again. Uh, I just watched back some of the audio from episode 1. I'm recording this off the tail of that episode. And I realized my mic was cutting out a whole lot, so we're going to hope that this episode's a lot better. Uh, I've changed the audio settings a little bit, like you <laughs> heard probably in the beginning of that one. I was messing with the audio quite a bit, probably more than I should have, and I think it may have bitten me in the ass a little bit. So hopefully it wasn't too bad to listen through the entire thing to see what I could have edited in post. Let's give us a rundown as to what we were doing last time that we uh, we were here in Transport Fever. So, last time we started a brand new game. We were here, we were looking around trying to figure out what we were going to set up. We ended up setting up a couple different things. We'll go right back up here. So we ended up starting out with uh, Yonkers up here, my personal favorite name, and Transport Fever that I've come up across. Uh, we're working on this. Uh, we ended up getting a successful brick line set up. That might be a little bit messed up. Bleh. Might be a little bit messed up at the moment, uh, just because I changed the amount of vehicles that were on that line at the very end of the episode when we unlocked the new vehicles. So that'll be something we come back and check out pretty quick uh, as we go through here. Uh, then we headed over here, uh, over to Cape Coral. Uh, we went ahead and set up a successful log and plank line and tool line all together. Uh, we got that pumping out. And that's happening right now. Uh, and then from there we went and we went to Norfolk and we started pumping out some crude oil, oil, and fuel. Uh, and delivering that there. And then at the very end of yesterday's, not yesterday's, uh, last week's episode. However often these are coming out, I'm not sure yet. Uh, we went ahead and we connected both Cape Coral and Norfolk's tool and fuel lines. Because they both take what the other has currently. And we combined them, and we've got that going for us now. So we were making actually a lot of money. A lot more money than I was expecting to make coming off the tail end of yesterday's episode. I keep saying yesterday. Last episode. Uh, and that's actually put us in a really good spot. For now, to be honest with you, I'm more interested in paying off this loan than anything else. We're making a lot of money, so I can afford to just start paying off that loan. Uh, and that'll have us making just a lot more pure profit quicker, because I'll have to pay less interest. Uh, so today we paid off about 4k, 4k, 400, 4 million of that loan, of that 10 million dollar loan. Uh, and now we're coming off the tail end of that, and we're trying to get stuff started again. So what am I going to do starting off? Uh, we're going to go ahead and check out, I think, the stone line up here. I want to make sure that this is all working fine. Uh, which we have a lot of raw stone down here. We don't have nearly as much brick. Uh, suppliers. Asking for 100, it's only shipping 84. So I think we're going to need maybe like... Four more trucks, maybe, on this one. I think that'll work. Oh, there's 19. Is that gonna bother me? Yeah, it'll be fun. So, boom. Got that going. We'll go ahead and try and get, see if anything else is out of the ordinary. What are you? Tools? Uh, a lot of vehicles on that, actually. Why is that? Surely there's not that many on this, right? There's seven. I don't need seven, to be honest with you. I probably only need four, maybe? I, I'm gonna start with two, actually. I'm gonna replace those with... It can go a hell of a lot faster, as we covered last time. There we go. So that is a lot of tools that need to be delivered over there. 
How much fuel are you asking for? 35? How much do we have capacity to carry right now? Uh, oil, fuel. That's not what I want. I want, uh... This one, right? Yeah, this one. 21... Yeah, okay, so we definitely have the capacity to carry, uh... What we want over there. All on one trip. So I don't think that's going to be a huge issue. That's making a lot of money off the bat. That's going to be great. Uh, I'll keep an eye on this, make sure that we're not losing anything there, but I don't think we are. Uh, that actually could use one or two more vehicles on it. That looks like it could use a lot more. So I'm going to add three more vehicles to this one. A lot of micro going on there. Uh, but hopefully they should be set up now. I won't have to worry about that too much. Cool. Now today, what are we going to try and do today? So I want to set up maybe some passenger lines. Um, I really want to get into trains because trains are honestly, I think, the best part of this game. Uh, everything working together is really cool too, but Trains. I, I just love me some trains, man. So, if I can find a way to do trains today, I'm going to try and do that. But I don't really foresee that happening. My voice just cracked there. Look at me go. So we're going to do what we can. Man, that's a long way to deliver food. I'm not going to do that. Not, not with trucks. That's too much. Um, you? Ooh, interesting. Well, that doesn't make slag. That does. Hmm. So that could be an interesting thing we, thing we do. We try and make some steel. Then we can use that slag to make construction material. And that'll deliver that to Modesto be interesting uh oh that was the wrong button uh what else could we do steel next machinery is there machinery is needed to be there yeah okay uh we could take a lot of brick down to modesto from yonkers which seems like a really far drive A really far drive. With no real rhyme or reason. Hmm. That makes machinery there. Yeah, I don't know. It's pretty hard. So, uh, at the end of yesterday's episode, I also, I keep saying yesterday. I'm going to keep saying yesterday. Last episode, I realized that the, the town's already expanding out, actually. Like, it's already converted these roads into city roads. Uh, it's expanded, and I've noticed the same over here with uh, Cape Coral, where it's expanded these roads uh, a little bit. Uh, which is good, because ultimately what it's going to end up doing is actually give us more things to deliver to them. Like, they'll start asking for different stuff. And that'll be great. Uh, I think I'm going to double the amount of vehicles that are on this line, actually. Where are they at right now? They're all right there. Yeah. We're going to do it. Uh, I'm hoping that that will give us a lot of money. Uh, oh, we got... Interesting. We got new trucks. Let's take a look at those real quick. Got new trucks that are slower. Why would I buy you? I mean, you could maybe buy these if you're going to be in towns delivering a lot of stuff. You don't need 
that extra speed, but I don't know really why you would do that. All right, so today is all about passengers. Maybe not all about passengers. It's going to be at least a little bit about passengers. I want to try and find... Uh, well, here. Uh, so ideally, with passengers, you want to see where people are commuting, actually. Uh, or... There's a certain thing. Is it this? Yeah, okay, here we go. So, the roads right here are all highlighted right now in private transport. So, people are using their cars right now to drive around on these roads. Um, what I'm trying to see is if they're... Oh, here we go. Alright, so, in between Cape Coral and Brownsville, there are people using this road. So, that's something to look at. Uh, same between Lincoln and St. Louis. Tattanooga and Long Beach. Uh, not really in Phoenix. Uh, not Modesto. Not Yonkers. Right, so... I think Cape Coral and Brownsville, that's going to be our first passenger line right there. So let's talk passengers. We haven't actually looked at any passenger lines yet. Uh, so I want to go through really quickly kind of what we're looking for, right? So, if you go back to here. Here, sorry. Obviously, what I was looking for is I was looking for a, already a natural connection in between two different towns that has already been formed, right? So, for some, one reason or another, somebody is going from this, from Cape Coral to Brownsville, back and forth. Now, what I want to do is try and eliminate them using that road at all with their own cars and charge money <laughs> so I can move them back and forth with my own. Uh, because corporate America, am I right? Uh, but this can't be America because that means that the public... Uh, the first word that came to mind was education, not that. The public transport, there we go, uh, is any good. Which, if you live in America, it's awful. But I've heard that it's pretty bad everywhere. So... We're gonna try and be the exception to that. So bus and tram stops. So this works kind of similar to like how industries work when you click on this. So how it's servicing this. Your bus and tram stops are all servicing what's being highlighted. To be honest with you. I can put that there and pretty much service the whole place. And I'm gonna do the same thing in Brownsville. I'm gonna try and find a spot. I think right here is fine because I service pretty much all the residential area and that's really where people will probably be going back and forth uh, from there. So other than that, it's going to be pretty similar just like you would between two cargo lines. Uh, there we go. You can see the icon slightly different, so that's like a little bus. That's a obviously like a semi-truck the little trailer on the back. So the bus is gonna be people. I just realized the color thing's been there. I've been missing that the entire time. I'm gonna make it like a pea green, uh, pea yellow. Yummy. Uh, um, <laughs> good lord. So we're gonna go from College Street to Cedar Street. Back and forth. That's gonna be the whole route. Uh, so we're gonna do... I guess bus... Uh, Browns to Cape Coral. Boom. Just like that. Now for this. Uh, it's not Tram Depot. I don't think. I use you, right? So I'm not actually using a tram. Yeah, Mac. Now this... We do passenger, right? So, that horse-drawn carriage is stagecoach, which is still a horse-drawn carriage, and then the Mac, which looks interesting. Uh, we are going to be using the Mac, because that's the best that we have. So I'm going to go ahead and throw down a road depot outside of town, far enough that it being in the town isn't going to affect it. 
I'm gonna buy three to start out with. And actually, I just realized I've probably made a mistake here. I want to not make a new line. You fool. So it goes from here, goes to there, goes to there. No, that's that's what I want. A little bit special. It's alright. Uh, boom. Put it on there. Uh, we're gonna see if this gets anybody right off the rope. Which I don't think it will. It'll take a little bit of time for them to transition over to the buses. You went... Interesting way. Not sure why you would have done that. But I don't know if anybody's going to get... On. Oh, I thought it deleted the bus somehow. <laughs> ah. Oh, goodness. Uh, yeah, so that hasn't done anything for us. Pain. Oh, there we are. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and give it a minute. We're going to see how that's going. Uh, I expect it'll take a minute, and we'll be back. All right, we're back. Um, cool. So, we... Are starting to get people to gather over here. Uh, nobody's actually been delivered yet. This is our lovely, silly little vehicle. It's just like an open air bus. Really. Coming over there. Uh, it's taking a U-turn pretty much in this cul-de-sac, and then it's going to go all the way to Cape Coral, uh, which we've got some people standing there as well. Only one person from this side, but we have like nine on that bus, and then another four waiting. Uh, as you start to establish that connection between the two towns, it's a lot more likely that we're going to see more and more people using that connection. Because uh, they'll kind of open up where they're able to work. So they'll start, you know, working different places and using your transport in order to do that. Because it's more convenient for them. Uh, do I want to start with more pasture lines? No, not really. Not yet. I'm going to just kind of see how that one plays out. I'm going to go back through real quick and check everything else here. I don't really know why there are planks there, if I'm honest with you. But that's alright. Uh, yeah, there is a big issue happening here, isn't there? So, I think when I did this yesterday, I uh, probably made a couple of mistakes here. I don't think I need to do nearly what I did. So, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, we'll, we'll leave it alone. So, instead of doing two different terminals, all I'm going to do is do this. I'm going to flip this back over to terminal 2 flip that to terminal 3 uh, yeah there we go I'm just going to delete all of that and I think that's just going to be much more simple if I'm honest with you uh, it's going to have Them doing some weird stuff still. The terminal's still not set up right. There we go. Okay. If it's set up correctly now. Then that's on the seal. Alright, perfect. That was a little bit painful to try and figure out. Um, alright. Green access. I'm delete that. I'm just gonna add that as a both way. That should maybe speed up the process, or maybe it won't. Who knows? Nope, we're still gonna use that. That's fine by me. Yeah, this will take a right hand turn. A little bit annoying, but it's alright. Uh,. All these doing all right. So our buses, is there one close with people? You got people, you have people, you have a person. We got two waiting there. 
We have two waiting there. Cool. All right. So there are people moving back and forth. Perfect. All right. So what's the next step here? What do we want to try and get going next? Oh, there's also this happening. So when you don't use certain industries, they have a chance of actually closing, which is basically just going to completely delete this off the map. Now, a different or the same type of industry can open up anywhere else on the map. That's not like in a city, a town, or on a road that you built. Or in a road that you built, I guess is a better way to put it. Uh, so, you know, this random coal mine closing, that could be a great thing. That means that we probably don't have to deal with that anymore. And I'm a happy man. Maybe we'll get something useful closer to a town that needs it. This place is also closing. Uh, so both of them closing, yeah, that's fine by me. Sure, whatever. Who needs them? Uh, today... That's paper... Is there a way to make plastics near here? Um... No, of course not. Why would I think so? There is right here. Uh, that is a lot to ask, I reckon. Oh, Norfolk is now demanding goods. So now it's demanding three different things. Uh, and that's pretty huge, actually. Because that just means that this became a lot more me wanting to set this up. So I need plastic. Where's the close, closest plastics? It's still up there, really. Or right there. Uh, yeah, that's pretty rough. Oh, this is base game. Oh, fuck. All right. It is base game, but they are expensive. Damn. Okay. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I, th I think I'm doing alright on the money front, fella. Uh, in fact, we're gonna repay... Ah, fuck it. We're just gonna repay all of it. Boom. We are now loan-free. All the money that we got coming in is only gonna go towards our stuff. Uh, and that is awesome. So now we've got a goal, right? We want to get goods down to Norfolk. We can do that a couple different ways. We can do that with this place here, but all of it needs plastics. Yonkers meat processing plant. Oh no. Um, which, the best way to get plastics down there, honestly, is either by train down this entire way, or by boat down that entire way. Boats are really slow, I'm not gonna lie. Um, uh, it, yeah, yeah, boats are really slow. Trains, uh, it's mostly flat all through here. It's not the worst idea I've ever heard. Alternatively, is there like a paper place? Logs, silver, any of that near here? No? Oh, no, 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 okay, there is pretty close, actually. A log spot, uh, kind of close, I can make that work. So logs there, that makes paper, paper goes there, boom! And then we make plastics there. Plastics go there. Oh, uh, there's a lot of places closing down right now. Yeah, alright. I think that actually might work. So we're going to try and make goods here. We can deliver goods to Lincoln. Now, when we do that, that's when we can start looking at a kind of centralized hub as to how we make more goods. Uh, and how we ship them out to different places. Uh, so, let's go ahead and turn down the game speed a little bit. Let's go ahead and look at the challenges we're going to face from getting to point A to point B. Um, so, 
if we want to connect this stuff, we're going to need to connect this over to the road over there. Use a nice curved road. So there's obviously a lot of terrain difference there. Yeah, there we go. So I'm going to do that. Make it a lot more smooth. It's not going to be looking as janky. Now, same thing here. It's mostly flat. So we're going to not do that. What the hell? Uh, we should be able to go flat for a lot of this, I reckon. Nice little coast side drive. I'll go ahead and curve that. That's probably about as good as I'm going to get it. Go straight into Lincoln. Uh, we're going to want to bypass Lincoln, I think, altogether. Should be pretty easy to do. Uh, I'm going to take a curve out from here. And then not do that, because that looks god awful. And then we'll join in right there. And that's going to make a horrible four way intersection that's not nice to look at at all, but I can live with. Right. Now, this. This is going to be rough. Because it's going to cost a lot of money to demolish that field. Which I honestly am thinking to myself, is it going to be worth... Would it be cheaper just to bridge over it? I think it would, actually. That's not it. That's crazy that we're going to do this this way, but... If it works... Yeah, I don't think architects would like how that is either, but... I don't really care. Sucks to suck. Uh, now we gotta take it down here. How's the terrain looking? It's generally just going down. Let's take it down in little steps. Slowly but surely. Until we get to right there. Perfect. That'll come in. I'm also going to go ahead and... Am I? No. no, no. Uh, but it could be useful. No. No, that'll be alright for now. Let's just get the, the base thing up and running. Cool. So the plan, like I said here, is we're going to take this grain, convert that into plastic, ship it down to the goods area, and then take the wood, ship it up here, make paper, ship both those down there, make goods, deliver it to Lincoln, and then look at also getting it down to uh, Norfolk. Perfect. Beautiful. Let's get it done. So, what have we learned? We've learned tram... <laughs> Road depot in the middle, not a tram line. Forgive me. Uh, we're gonna start with... Doo -doo -doo. Uh, we're probably actually gonna do multiple red depots because it's a little bit... Far out. One there. One there. And then... I might want to rearrange this later. It's going to be... Oh yeah, it'll connect there. Yeah, alright, we'll do that. That way it's still on the main road. Connect there. Cool, so all I need to do is add... One on this road. The plastic factory, and then one more in here, which is going to be... Uh, it'll be alright. Right there, try and give it a little bit of room to expand. And like that, bam. 
Now we're gonna make a new one. I have a couple here. Uh, except it's not gonna be that, is it? It's gonna be. There to oh, what are you doing? New line. Add station. There to there. Perfect. Uh, grain. Oh, where are we? We're near Chattanooga, I guess. Uh, chats. I'm getting my naming scheme here. Chats. Uh. Grain. Plastic. Yep, that works. Another new line. Keep doing that. It's gonna be same place to there. It's gonna be CT chats. Plastic. So it gets. Yeah, I guess that's still chat. Uh, new line again. Do that. CT Lincoln. Oh, God. Uh, logs. Paper. I can't spell. I'm very tired. Holy shit. Uh, logs paper. And then one last one. Which will be... Cargo truck. Lincoln. Paper. I uh, know I said one last one, but I've lied to you all. Ha ha ha. I know. Uh, we need to deliver the goods. After all is said and done. Which we'll do just like that. Uh, which will be another new line. Which will be there to there. Which will be... Cargo truck. Blink colon. Goods. Like that. Beautiful. Alright, we're gonna start off nice and simple. Uh, start off with... It's not one to one, right? Yeah. Weird. So, Red Depot, we're gonna start off with 10 of these. We're gonna sign that to the cargo truck Logs to paper. Did I, did I sign that's the right thing. Yeah, okay, that's that's right. I, I was worried for a second there. Uh, so that needs the ability to haul grain, which that doesn't have. This does. So we're gonna do ten there. That's going to be grain of plastic. 10 might be a bit overkill for that. We'll see. We're going to do 5, which is going to be plastic to goods. I'll probably end up needing more of that. Then we're going to do 5. That is paper to goods. That can't hold good, so and then we'll just do one that's gonna be Lincoln Goods. And there we go. The whole system's gonna work after it all gets unclogged from there. Uh, I'm gonna let this go ahead and bounce out really quick, and then we'll come back and see how it's going. Alright, so I brought us back a little bit prematurely actually, because I was uh, looking around and saw. I don't care. Uh, and saw. <laughs> Uh, some cool stuff going on. So, I came back over to Cape Coral. I was checking out the uh, kind of transport line in between the two for the guys, the people, the passengers, that's the word. Um, first and foremost, I put stop on the wrong side of the road. We get about 32,000 each time we deliver people. Nice. 
Uh, I'm going to drive all the way back, and they are dropping people off here. Uh, and I was looking, and they're actually making us quite a lot of money, which is really huge. Norfolk now demands goods, didn't you before? You definitely did before. Definitely did before. Because you're who I was trying to deliver goods to in the long run. Uh, how silly of them. Oh well. Uh, yeah, so this is working here, which means that we can start implementing it to more things. Um, now, the bad thing is... Cape Coral is going to have to be our main passenger hub, I think. At least down on this side of the map. We can go and probably make Chattanooga the main area. Uh, oh, holy shit, this is working. Look at it all go. Uh, we can make Chattanooga the main passenger area. Because um, it's kind of central... There's a lot of other places, but we can kind of make offshoots and get to there, including Yonkers. Uh, we're going to want to build them up a bit, though. Uh, Norfolk Paper Mill. Who's that on? Oh, that was founded. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah, okay. Cool. So, you know, that's kind of the plan. For now, I'm trying to debate if it's worth... Running, uh, more like bus passenger lines in between places, because I think we're going to end up doing that with trains anyways. Uh, which, we're getting quite a bit of money, actually. I think after this line, we can probably actually set up some trains. Uh, which might end up being today, might be next episode, that we end up actually graduating on the trains. But that's okay, we're taking it nice and slow here. So, let's take a look at what this line, or these collection of lines are doing, I guess we should say. So, obviously, the granary is dropping all this stuff off. It's asking for 200. It's getting about 70% of that. Uh, but, to be honest with you, it looks like it's doing more than fine right now. Uh, so, these guys are filling up on plastics. They're getting shipped on out over to here. Uh, it's asking for 94, it's getting none of it, uh, which is absolutely a problem. So we're going to want to at least double the amount of stuff here. I'm going to imagine it's going to be a very similar story over here. Uh, or not. Uh, so, oh. We are not getting a lot of wood at all. That makes sense, actually. It's a much longer journey on this side than it was on the other side. Uh, so we're gonna double at least this. We can, okay, I was about to freak out if they couldn't actually carry that. Yeah, okay, so we'll, we'll double that, uh, which will hopefully get this producing a little bit more. Uh, looking up here in Brownsville, we're getting a lot of people waiting on buses. Is the story similar down here? Uh, not to the same degree, but it is still waiting. So I think what I'm gonna do is add two more buses. Uh, Junker. Ooh, we have our first plane. Oh, that could be fun to do, actually. Something like Cape Coral all the way down to, uh, oh, maybe to Yonkers. Oh, do we really want to go for planes so soon? Much would like a small passenger airport be? <laughs> it's five million. So now probably not. It's five million on a good day. Now, now I think we'll we'll probably wait for that. There we go. I, why is my game stuttering so bad? If it keeps doing that, I'm going to uh, yeah. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and restart the whole game. I'll be back once I've done that. All right, we're back. Uh, not really sure what's causing it. It's still freezing a little bit. It's specifically like over here. Maybe it's because there's so many markers over here. 
I find that unlikely. Uh, I don't think it's been doing that the entire time, so I'll have to look into it later, but there we go. Uh, Yonkers Forest, do I care about you? Uh, no? No, not particularly. Could you be of any use to me? Uh, again, no, no, not really. Uh, that's fine, you can close down. Right, so back to what we were doing, right? We were uh, we were looking at the goods and all of that. So goods, yeah, there we go. There's the finished product right there, that's what we want. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to want some more of these. I'm gonna get five in total, I think. That'll be plenty. Uh, 55 grand. Look at it. Okay. Uh, and look, the Lincoln Goods line is even already gone. So I'm pretty happy with that. Now. Ah, yeah, it's still on the other side. That's really unfortunate. Uh. Oil sand. We needed a place for oil sand, didn't we? Oh, there's one all the way over here. That's quite a journey. I don't think that's going to be anything that we end up doing something with. Uh, not anytime soon, at least. Cool. So, it is all working. Could it work more efficient? Uh, maybe. Uh, yes, I think is probably my final answer. This could probably work way better. Do I double... Everything? No, I don't think so. I think I'll just add five more. Let's see how that goes. Over here. Almost same story. I think I add three more at least. See how that goes. Math. Perfect. We do it over here. Uh, we look all right. We look like we still need way more vehicles here. Yeah, it's just like the, the frequency is not good. Uh, are you getting everything that you're asking for? Yeah, so you're getting everything. Oh, but you're getting everything you're asking that way, too. Oh. Huh. Alright, that's interesting. Uh, okay, so they do... That is how the mail works. Interesting. I'll have to look into doing that. I think the mail does something with the, uh, like, how fast the city progresses or something like that. I'll, I'll look into that. Maybe next episode. Maybe doing that with trains, because it's going to require a lot of different stuff. Speaking of trains, I think it might be time. It might be time. I want to connect a couple different places. Now, the issue with this is Norfolk now demands goods. Hey fella, I'd like to tell you, you have been demanding goods this entire time. Figure yourself out. Um. Oh man. It could be a pretty massive infrastructure deal going on right there. So, as I see it, the best route I have right now is probably Norfolk to Cape Coral. Coral, not Cape Coral. Cape Coral. Um, let's go ahead and start seeing how that's going to look. Uh, it's fairly flat until about there, so that's good. Uh, it's going to cause a bit of a problem there. I might need to rework this road. But if I come straight through here and over, only about a million, actually. That's, that's pretty good. That gives me about 75. Alright, so I'm, I'm not too disappointed in that. The most challenging thing to build, by far, is going to be the bridge, so I'm going to want to do that first. I say most challenging, the most difficult thing to build. I think we're really going to invest in this line as well.
So it's a lot of money. And actually, I'm going to pause the game while I do this. Ooh, there's not a nice way to make that connection. Um, and like I said, I'm going to demolish some stuff. That's fine. Oh, okay. All well, my vehicle's in the way. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and increase this. And we are just going to make it a pretty straight connection. I just saved about 100k on that, so that's that's good. Uh, I'm gonna need to tie into this. Let the game run real quick. Get rid of that ugly. Game. There we go. All right. So that should be happy with me again now. Uh. Yeah, it should be alright. But if I ever need to get over here... Yeah, to be honest with you, it's just gonna be a little crossing. Uh, it does not look very good at all right there. I don't really care. I don't really care for the time being. So that's gonna be the most expensive part of that by far. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let it play just at a slower speed. So we are gonna be doing a passenger connection. Now, over here, we want at least two tracks. I don't think it's gonna be worth bridging over there. So what I'm actually going to do all the way over here is Okay, I'm going to straight to the I'm going to go ahead and connect a road here like that. Take my train at terminus station. Uh, oh god. Yeah, so train stations are obviously very expensive. Uh, jeez. Alright, so how is that going to come in? It's going to come in like that. And kind of like that. Uh, I'm alright with something like that. I'm going to go ahead and reconfigure this again. Just a little bit. And I want to give the station room at least on one side enough that it can expand one way or the other. Uh, there is nothing on this side of the river that I need to get to other than Norfolk. So, what we're doing here is it's just going to be the end of the line station. Uh, up here in Cape Coral, we're going to have something entirely different. Uh... And to be honest with you, I kind of want to put it right here. And I'm going to build the biggest street I can. Oops, of course I will. And then I will connect it with all the roads. Why am I making this a big road? Uh, well, a couple of reasons. Uh, one, is it's gonna get a lot of traffic, both through mine and through other things. Uh, 
uh, both through my use and, like, civilian pedestrian use. So I want it just to be already as big as it's going to possibly need to be. I probably won't need it to be that big, right? But going forward, just future-proofing it. Uh, so there we go. We've got the two stops that we need. I've got that middle point, and then I have the end point over there. Uh, we're going to have to do a couple more steps to make this all functional, obviously. Uh, like, first and foremost, getting track to everything. So, we're going to have a challenge here in the way of topography. We always want to respect the topography as much as possible. We also want to try and keep our speed 75. All good, right? It's just it flattens out a lot down here as well. That's good. It's a little bit weird curve, but it'll work. Beautiful. All right. So that's the first part of the line. Go ahead and make the second. The second should be much easier. Just going to follow it right alongside other line. Uh, I'll look at that. I can make it fall all the way up to there. So that was half a million to build. You can see how trans can be really expensive if you're not ready for them. So let's look at the topography, right? Once again, we've got some higher elevation here. We're going to want to try and avoid that. So we're going to try and come around like that. Uh, it's looking like this is really flat here. So I kind of want to make... Uh, I'm going to make a straight section here. This is going to be what we build off of. Sure, why I can do that before. Good. Another level crossing. Uh, so that's like our middle point of that. So we're going to try and slingshot around on this side. It should be pretty easy. It's just still pretty straight. Uh, if I try going straight, yeah, alright. So construction's not possible. Uh, which that whole mess is in the way, which I don't entirely disagree with. I think it is also in the way build the outside track first. And we're going to zoom through here. And, yep. That looks perfectly fine. Now we're probably going to get out of this and realize, oh my god, it's terraformed a lot of stuff. Uh, like, here turn this off it's pretty low down there i don't really mind to be honest with you it's it's just easier for me to ignore that at the moment and just look at the general topography and see what is or isn't good uh that's gonna be half a million right there i think we can do better than that Try and cross over that. Now, it's also going to be difficult because we don't have the high-speed track unlocked yet. And so, like, we're keeping 75 through all here, but we're not going to be at max speed, I can guarantee, for uh, doing the high-speed track. It's all right. Something that we got to live with. And boom. That is a train line all the way from Cape Coral to Norfolk. We're getting along. I definitely want to get this done before we end today's episode. So I'm going to go ahead and just get right into kind of the nitty gritty of the rest of it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add the train depot there. Just realized I crossed that to the wrong side. <laughs>
Okay, got a nice spot right there. Guess the game hates me. Too much curvature. How does this make any sort of sense? Go ahead and move it much further back. Uh, preferably. I'm gonna put it right there. That should be easy. That goes there. Uh, oh god, I did not think this through because there's gonna be a crossing in the middle of it. I don't want to do that. Uh, okay, so I'll tell you what we're going to do. We are going to use some wit here. Connect it right there. I honestly don't care about the fish plant. I can stay there. Uh, it could be useful in the future, actually. If we have... We do have a meat plant. Oh, you know what? We could actually do something with that. So, I will reconnect it. I want to make sure I remember that's there. And because it is something that may help me in the future... We'll build a very small bridge over it. So, much like your vehicle depots that you use on Rand, la Rand, Rand, Raggy, uh, land, your train depot is going to work in much the same way. Make that a double slip switch. Uh, this early in the game, it's just easy to make all of these double flip switches. So if the train ends up in one station, it can very easily switch onto a different track, and it can do it like any which way. It's just much easier, trust me. Alright. Boom. That is that is the one right there. That is gonna be PT. Oh, PT for passenger train. Kate Coral. Norfolk. Time to build a train. Now, the train we're going to start off with is definitely not that, because that looks fucking awful. Uh, we are going to... I think we're going to use the 10-wheeler here. Nah, I've lied. We're going to use the 422 Atlantic. Uh, passenger cars... So, how fast could you go? 422 Atlantic. You can go 62 MPH. So, I want to choose something that can at least go up to that. So, that's you right there. 20 people can be on there. We'll add two. That's pretty ambitious for now. But that'll be alright. And we're off. Boom. Now, before I continue with this, there's a couple other things that we want to do. And actually, I should have done this before I started the train, but here we are. <clears throat> so, the first thing is I'm going to make use of the bus system that we already have. And we're actually just going to change this line slightly. So it's going to stop here first, and then it will go to College Street, and then 4th Street. Or no, sorry, it will go 4th Street, then College Street. 
Uh, which I actually want to change again. I want four streaks to be. How I've done this. I want you menu. Which I don't entirely like how it's doing that. Uh, I guess that's all right. For now, at least. So it's gonna go. It's gonna go grab people from Brownsville, like it's been doing. Uh, it'll come all the way over here. It's going to drop people off here at College Street, and then from College Street, it's also going to go all the way up to the train station, drop people off there. What that's gonna cause that to do is uh, probably do. Should probably actually instead of using a bus stop, I'm gonna want to use a bus tram station. That's not at all the button I'm at the click. Bus tram station. Can I get the largest one in here? Oh, just barely. That'll help me in the long run. And that's automatically connected to there. Perfect. Beautiful. Cool. So, it's going to cause a sector of interchange, right? So, people all the way from Brownsville can come over to Cape Coral. But if they're actually not coming to Cape Coral for Cape Coral, they're coming to Cape Coral for Norfolk, they can do that. They can stay on the bus uh, all the way up to here. Which, to be honest with you, I'm now realizing... Once again, I'm going to change my mind. We're going to go to here, here, and then back to here. Which might seem weird, but I'll explain why my lot thought process uh and i'm also going to change this very slightly by putting it come here drop off there come here come down uh and i want to put it right there I should have bought it connected again. Yeah, all right. So, Brownsville It's going to drop off here first. So, anybody that's coming from Brownsville to the train station is taken care of automatically. And this also services a couple of different spots here. Uh, then it's going to pick anybody up that's here. It's going to drop them off at College Street. Since they're coming from Brownsville to try and get anywhere that this is servicing, they can stay on and get there. Uh, and then from College Street, it's going to go back and drop anybody off that's from inside Cape Coral trying to get to the train station there. Then it's going to come out, go all the way to Brownsville, and repeat. Long-winded, a bit confusing. So this area is all serviced, right? Everybody can get to the train station one way or another. And we're even adding in a second area, which is huge. Norfolk is a bit different. We don't have any buses or trams or anything like that. So we're going to add those in as well. Um... How do I want to best do this? Uh, so we're going to go out this way, which I think will actually connect. That's there. I'll even upgrade that for him. Why not? Cool. So, yeah. How do we want to best do this? So they're going to come out that way, obviously. So we're going to use this main streak here and get everybody with that. Yep. But I'll also use this main street there. And the same thing that we did up there, we're going to add a bus tram station. We're going to add it right here, maybe, possibly. It's got to be there, doesn't it? For it to be direct connection. Well, maybe it can't actually be directly connected. I thought it could. Maybe it can't. It's fun. We will try and not make a really weird connection. Ooh. Yeah, that'll be fun. Put that right there. So that is still being service to that. Beautiful. 
Same thing here. So we'll start... Uh, realistically, I want it to start there. Go there. Go there. Then it loops all the way back around again. Beautiful. It's going to be a bus. Norfolk. That's not how you spell that. Norfolk. Uh, yeah, I just think bus Norfolk. Boom. That's that. Uh, is there... Not really. We'll go and have another vehicle depot in here. We're going to add it right next to that. This looks a bit nicer. Uh, that can have more people. It can go a little bit faster. Uh, it's about 20k more expensive. That's fine by me. Three of them. A snorkel. Uh, what do you need? Oh, I added one of the... Yeah, okay, that's what I did. Sorry. Uh, well, let's walk back while that happens. So what I've obviously done is I've used the Willow Street cargo station instead of the Center Street passenger station, which is really what I meant to do. So that should go ahead and fix that now. I think it should start rocking and rolling. And here's our train. Get him go. So he's going to start over here. That's fine. I'm going to let him chug along real quick. Uh, I am going to want to change all of these buses. I'm going to want to upgrade them to that new bus. Right away. That's from 16 to 22. They can travel much, much faster on these roads now. Which is just going to overall affect the entire passenger way that goes about. Uh, and obviously this is much quicker than riding the bus. So there's our ten guys there, five guys there. It's going pretty well. Uh, realistically, what I think I would end up wanting to see is like a port here as well. And maybe we'll make that connect up to Yonkers. Just because I want to do something with all the different types of transport. And... I haven't done much of that yet. So I'm going to let this train run for a minute or two, and then we'll come back once uh, there's some passengers in the station and all of that. All right. So I went ahead and paused it really quick. Uh, I want to really quickly describe, once again, what's happening here, and then we're going to go into the end of the video. We're going to go ahead and hitch our ride on the train this time around. So people are being picked up, dropped off here. Uh, they're being delivered here, where you see. So, these guys are being delivered via College Street, which I think is, yeah, here. So, they're wanting to go to College Street, I believe. No, something like that. No, they're coming from College Street, sorry. I know what I'm talking about. Uh, so, they're getting there. They're probably going to catch the bus over to Brownsville. That's probably what they're wanting to do, because they haven't transferred over here into the station. But over here in the station... If I can find them. Yeah, there they are. Some lucky fellas are trying to uh, to head over to Norfolk. Hitching a ride on our lovely train. Uh, which is awesome. Really good. Really cool. So, our buddy's going to be pulling into the station any second now. That is... What the fuck? <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Uh, we're pulling in now, and we're going to go ahead and catch a ride on the train. As we pull in. It's going to flip around, there we go. And then I'm going to let you guys enjoy this train ride, our first train ride and voyage. And I'll go ahead and catch you guys in the next one. See ya!